What's up everyone? In this video, I wanna use our knowledge of the trade history and the volume to gain an understanding of the uptick rule and how it slows down the short selling process for stocks. We had a large sell-off today in the U.S. stock market, and I saw a notification in Trader Workstation that was relevant to the topics that we've been covering recently, so I thought I'd cover the uptick rule here in this video. We have already learned in the trade history video that we can see each trade tick by tick in the trade history as they come in. Each trade is either an uptick or a downtick. The upticks are in green. These trades indicate that the taker was a buyer that hit the lowest asking price on the book. The down ticks are in red and these trades indicate that the taker was a seller that hit the highest bidding price on the book. These concepts of ticks are universal and we have demonstrated them through GDAX. What I want to talk about in this video is regarding a technical piece of regulation actually that applies to stocks. Even though this topic doesn't directly apply to GDAX at the moment, I wanted to cover the concept to deepen our understanding of trading in general. And it is possible that a rule like this, like the uptick rule, could be added to GDAX in the future. Let's jump to Trader Workstation and I'll show you the notification that I saw that motivated this video. I'm here in Trader Workstation and over here on the left in this watch list section, you can see a list of symbols. There's one symbol in particular that stands out, which is NVDA or NVIDIA. There is a little notification right next to the symbol. If I hover over this notification, we can just read what it says. The SEC Rule 201, aka Uptick Rule, has been triggered and the related exchanges have implemented a short sell restriction in accordance with their policies. Short selling is still permitted when the SEC Rule 201 criteria are met. Short sell restriction is in effect from Feb 5, 1510 to Feb 6, 20 EST. When I saw this, I knew I had to make a video on it since we just spoke about ticks and the ticker tape in the trade history video. The uptick rule temporarily restricts the way short selling can be carried out for specific stocks. If any stock falls by 10% or more from its previous closing price at any point during the trading day, the uptick rule will be applied to that stock. You can see in the notification that the restriction is applied for about 24 hours. So that's the temporary part. In NVIDIA's case, we can see over here on the daily candlestick chart, let me just pull it up, this big red down day that caused the rule to be triggered. So what does the rule say specifically? Let's jump to the web and have a look at the details. The uptick rule is a trading restriction that states that short selling a stock is only allowed on an uptick. So that first sentence was good enough to give us something to work with. So let's jump over to GDAX and break this down a little bit further. When the uptick rule is being applied to a stock, it means that a seller who is selling short cannot hit the highest bid over and over again, taking demand from the order book and pushing the price lower. This is why the rule is put into place only when the price is already dropping a lot. That's the 10% threshold. If the stock isn't dropping, then there's no need for this rule to be in place. Short sellers can sell short all they want as they wish. Without the rule, short sellers could jump in and add more selling pressure to an already dropping price, causing a snowball effect. The short seller is only allowed to sell on uptick trades. This means that they can sell at the lowest asking price as makers, but not at the highest bidding price as takers. This means that short sellers can sit their sell orders on the book on the sell side at the lowest asking price, but they can't take from the book, thereby pushing the price down. In the trade history, we can see each trade tick by tick. And with the uptick rule in effect, all of the down ticks in the trade history must be actual sellers and not short sellers. 
With all of that being said, the uptick rule doesn't apply on GDEX at the moment, but it is a good example of other places where the tick terminology has worked its way into the industry through this piece of regulation. One last thing that I want to show you relating to this topic is in the GDEX trading rules. So let's jump over there and have a quick look. Down here in section 2.12, the title is Flash Crashes and Circuit Breakers. And GDAX tells us that they do not use artificial market integrity measures such as circuit breakers or trading halts. What I want to point out is that this uptick rule is one of these artificial market integrity measures. The uptick rule keeps the short sellers in the market honest because what you have is short sellers who will take advantage of an already dropping price. They can create more fear in this way, taking advantage of the actual sellers who are looking to get out of the market. So that's why the uptick rule falls into this category of artificial market integrity measures that GDAX is telling us here they do not use. So that's just something to keep in mind moving forward on GDAX. We may see in the future these types of things get introduced. But as of now, we don't have them.